The Project Accounting module in Dynamics GP allows you to set up, maintain, and bill out time and material projects. Let's take a look at that. Let's go into Dynamics GP here, and the first thing I'm going to do is set up my time and material project. Go to Cards, set up a contract first. I'm going to look up that customer ID, name my contract. You can see here I've got a contract ID, contract number, and contract name. These are all ways to look up that particular contract. This is going to be a time and materials project type, and the accounting method is going to be when performed. I'm going to add a project ID down here. I'm going to drill into that. I'm going to add cost categories to this particular project. We'll go into the budgets here. I'm going to look up the consulting cost category because I'm going to add time to this particular project. There it is. I can specify the beginning and end date if I want to. I'm going to have a budget of unit cost of $45 per hour and my profit amount is going to be a billing rate and that's going to be $100 per hour and let's put it in 100 hours. So here you can see for this particular cost category I've got a total cost of $4,500. If I tab off that I've got a project amount of $10,000 related to this particular cost category. I can add additional cost categories if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep this. I'm going to add people to the access list. These are people that are going to have the ability to charge time to this particular project. I'm going to use this wizard up here. I'm just going to accept all the project accounting employees to this list. There they go. I'm going to save this project. Now I'm going to change the status on the contract from estimate to open. This is going to roll down to the project and the cost categories. And let me save that. The next thing I want to do is I want to enter a timesheet. Now there's a couple ways to enter time into Project Accounting. One is through Business Portal, but I'm going to enter it right into the transaction that comes with Project Accounting. So if I go to Transactions, Project, and Timesheet Entry, I can enter my timesheet right here. Let me just do that. I'm going to look up an employee, select the first one here and look up the projects and I'm only going to see the projects that are available to this particular employee. Here's that project right here. I'm going to look up the cost category ID. Here's consulting and then I'll put in the number of hours that I want. You can see where I could add additional dates, additional employees, whatever I wanted to to this timesheet. You can also see that this timesheet will calculate the total cost and accrued revenues based on how I have that, on how I have that cost category set up. So I'm just going to post this transaction now. This will post to the project. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to run the cycle billing routine on this particular project. So if I go to transactions, go into project, go to billing, project accounting has the ability to set up a batch routine to bill all projects that are due to be billed. So I'm going to do that right now. I've got a billing cycle ID that's attached to this project. It was also attached to the customer and that's how it became attached to this particular project. I'm going to accept these dates here. I'm going to name a billing file here and I want to do the one invoice per contract. So let me process that now. It's completed. So now let's take a look at the billing transaction that was created by that process. If I go to Transactions, Project, Billing, Billing Entry, let me look up that transaction. Here's the billing transaction that was created from that cycle process that I just ran. What I can do here is I can modify the amounts if I want to. Specifically in a time material basis project, I can drill back into the billings and I can see all my time and material components here. If I need to change the markup or maybe change not bill something at this particular time, I could do that. I can merely uncheck the bill here. I could enter markups here if I wanted to, but it looks fine to me, so I'm going to hit OK. From here, I can also print the invoice that goes out. There's a lot of flexibility in the invoice printing in Project Accounting. We'll just take a look at it here. And this is a real simple example. Here's a simple bill. Here's another document that comes out of that billing routine. 
So I can have a lot of flexibility in how I put the bill and the invoice together. Now once I'm done printing the invoices, I can just post that particular transaction. It's going to create a receivables record. Let me just post that now. It's going to create a receivables record that I can receive cash against at a later time. Now let's look at some of the inquiry ability within project accounting. If I go to inquiry, project, corporate, I'll get all my projects, all my customers that are in my system right now. Let's look at this particular customer. Let's drill down. I've got a couple projects here. Let's look at this one that we were working on here. Here I've got a nice estimate at the contract level. I can drill down into the project level. I can have a number of different projects in this particular contract, but you can see here I've got one. I can drill down into the cost category and I can drill into the detail of that cost category. Let's do that here. Project accountants can keep track of the baseline budget, a forecast budget with, which can be changed as you go through a project. It will also keep at the cost category level actual transactions I can drill down to at any time. So here's my transaction. I can drill back into that timesheet and I can see the whole timesheet if I wanted to. Also, in these inquiry screens, which I like quite a bit because it gives me a good look at all the projects I have in my company, all the projects by my customers. I can also print out reports. This is a sample of a report here. This is fairly typical. I've got basically all the reports are going to have budget and actual information. And then generally tr towards the right here, there's some additional information related to, the, to that particular type of project. So I just ran you through a quick example of how to set up a time and materials project, how to enter transaction against that, and then how to build that project out. And you can probably see that it's fairly easy to do. There's also a lot of simplicity and also some complexity you can add to that if you want to. So the project accounting module is really quite flexible. So you can use it any way that you want to. And we have clients that are using it very simply and also customers that take a more complex approach. So if you're interested in project accounting, you should check it out and see if it might work for you.